Port of View is a small and diverse community west of Auckland's CBD. It's a cul-de-sac cut off from the rest of Auckland with mangroves on one end and a major motorway on the other. It's really just a tiny hamlet of about 4,000 people, so water view people have that sort of outsider ethos to it. And I do like the fact that the rising tide of gentrification hasn't quite hit here yet. My father is from Bangandadi, a little village in Fiji. Mum's park here from Takapuna. And I consider myself a New Zealander. I've been living in Waterview for the past four years now. And I'd like to introduce to you a number of compelling people who also make Waterview their home. I guess I feel blessed having Dad as head of a Pacific church. It was really quite a diverse upbringing. I mean, a lot of my friends had that sort of upbringing. And it was about the shared values, ways, understandings of Pacifica. And I guess in a way, what my father did in the pulpit, what I do as a broadcaster is similar. It's about oratory, and it's about talking about the issues that really affect the community. Local man, Puli Musalima, whose parents come from Samoa, is also influenced by his Pacifica upbringing, this time through the values and harmonies of a church choir. I love teaching. It's a, a great way to share my music passion to these youngsters. So it's been going for two years. I had a, a very good piano music concert last year. Uh, it was a packed out audience and got the, the, the ones that have been learning for more than one year to play a piece. And it was very successful, you know, and the parents were proud of their performances. Love what you do on the, the first verse. Now let's go somewhere else in the second verse eh? with just the whole rhythm, yeah? Ready, go. My name is uh, Pauli Masalima and I live in Waterview. I live here for my parents and uh, my siblings. My dad bought the house back in 1984. That was fantastic, Theo, eh? yeah? I love what you did on the bridge part, yeah, and you know how you explored that bridge and this one here. I teach just under 70 kids uh, from all around Auckland, from Manukau, um, GI, from West Auckland. So, um, you know, I get 98% um, Pacific Island kids com coming here to, to learn music. If I can teach a student to be confident and if I can teach them to to be proud of what they do and to teach them the values of working hard and discipline. You know, that's something that, that I wake up to, you know, so I think that's a passion for me. I really love music, you know, I, I was trained classically. Um, I loved classical music, I loved jazz. More so, I loved film music. Um, and we're watching, watching Lion King, watching Schindler's List, you know, you grow up fascinated by the soundtrack. I grew up in church and I played piano for the Sunday School Choir, Youth Choir. I was immersed musically in church as well as home. Uh, my dad played the, the guitar. So there was, I guess there was no way of, uh, you know, um, getting out of it. You know, music was everywhere for me. In the community, in church, and my household. I'm a, a film and theatre composer. I score music for productions, and my latest uh, work was the Lem Lai uh, production. It was a, uh, an old 1929 film, um, semi-abstract, black and white, um, silent film. It's also love. Um, he's entitled, uh, he's put a psalm on, uh, titled to it, which means um, the same, and. Um, it's quite you know, contradictory to the film because you know, it wasn't the same. It seemed to evolve from A to B to C to D, naturally. Len Lai was a well-known New Zealand artist. He pushed boundaries, he lived beyond his time, and he loved, he had a fascination of movement.
is a showcase of uh, Len Lai's uh, 1929 film. And I'm um, just being uh, very privileged to, uh, to work with other composers, great composers, uh, Matt and Operongi, uh, Sam, on this project. So well, uh, produced by uh, James Pinker. Um, and uh, it's, it's an old um, semi-abstract film. And um, we've all scored the music, uh, not together, but separately. Pretty, pretty nervous, and uh, now it's exciting at the same time. And making, I guess, making history, you know, to honour, you know, Len Lai, a great New Zealand artist, um, through our music. You know, it's something special. So yeah, looking forward to it. continue on working on projects like film and theatre to tell uh, my family stories, my Samoan stories to the world. I think it's very special as opposed, as opposed to you know, also working along, you know, the future Peter Jacksons and the future Steven Spielbergs. Continue to push my music um, beyond Waterview, you know, beyond New Zealand and see where it gets me. Be based here but continue to work overseas.